The last big group of Pittsburgh Public School students are days away from heading back to the classroom and families can breathe a small sigh of relief this morning after the school board took a big vote last night. Channel 11's Alyssa Raymond is live in Pittsburgh in front of some of the buses that the district will use to cut down on a major shortage. Alyssa, good morning. Good morning. The district stuck a, struck a deal with this bus company. It's a Pittsburgh Transportation Group, and this really helps, uh, but they're still going to be short. The company is providing three 30-passenger buses that will serve six schools. The agreement doesn't start until May 10th. The final chunk of students start their hybrid schedule on Monday, so that's one week prior to that agreement going into effect. And if you think about how many students have already gone back to school, partially around 8,000 students have already gone back. You know, the district was short about 1,300 seats. Now that shortage is cut by about half. It's down to about five to 600. Some families also helped out with this bus driver shortage. They did things like they released their child's seat on the bus. Uh, they offered to drive their child plus other kids to school. And of course, some kids are sticking with all remote learning. It's worth mentioning again about, um, you know, the option for uh, Port Authority Connect tickets is, all, is also still available for all the families. So uh, if they are in that gap for the first week, you know, Port Authority um, Connect tickets are, is still an option that they could, they could utilize for that first week before, they, um, before the Pittsburgh Transportation Group fills in some of the holes. And you just heard a lot of different options there, but if parents still can't find transportation for their kids to get to school, students won't be penalized. There's this special code that they can enter in on their attendance record saying, yes, they were supposed to be in the classroom, but they had to stay at home to learn because of the transportation issue. And parents, if you're wondering if my kid's going to be left out of this, the school says that they will be reaching out and there will also be mailers out in your mail. Reporting from Pittsburgh Chateau neighborhood, Alyssa Raymond, Channel 11 News.